tell you where it is. Trying to buy the pot. Here it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Buying the pot. It doesn't have enough to buy. Buying the pot. What do you got? Let's see him. He's oh, good. that's he lucky. Him. No, he has. It's a flush. Got a flush. Good lucky. Oh. It's called being the champ. That's what it's called. Being the champ. Take your goddamn money. Then, Thank huh? you very much. Stripper girls on me tonight, boys. Oh. Oh. Getting cold, boys. I could share some of this with you gentlemen if you'd like. It is the first of November. Yeah. Really? So. Yeah, well, look at this. One month from today, I'll be sipping margaritas with a lady in Florida. Florida. Every year, baby, Christmas in Florida. Margaritas, huh? Mm. Is that, um, Disney World or Disneyland in Florida? What was that, excuse me? Is it Disney World or Disneyland in Florida? Uh, fuck Disney World. <laughs> I'm there for the women, dude. I'm a grown man. The women and your girl? Huh. Well, that's what this money will help me get, right? Uh, well, I like a white winner. Mm. <laughs> so what's the deal? You staying here again this year? Oh, well, yeah. I love it up here, you know. Oh, poor son of a bitch. Stupid. Uh, all right. I like the double pay, man. Need it after this poker game. Uh -huh. Double pay. All right, I want to see this. Come on, give me yeah. something good here. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Here we go. Game on, bud. This is uh, Professor Olson, head of archaeology for U of T, head of field research for the SAA. Professor, Francis Monroe, project director. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I uh, did a paper on you in university. That's Drew McNaughton. He's our equipment technician. Mm. And Robert Michael Giles, field supervisor. What he's doing here not on site is beyond me. I'm on my break. And that's uh, Dr. Richard Anders, site assigned medical supervisor. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, be nice to do something around here for a change. Let me show you the lab. You in here? Yeah. All righty. <sighs> yep. And this is Stephen Wells. He's here on a corporate internship with a company in Calgary. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, been my assistant for the past few months. How's it going? Well, thank you. You got a very impressive resume. Thank you. Professor Olson is here to write a report to hopefully get us a grant from the SSHRC to get us more funding and more hands. Hey, that'd be great. I really look forward to working with you. Likewise. So, uh, how was the trip out? Long. 
Yeah, it's a long ride on that chopper. You're lucky it's uh, three times as long if you're ride up during a storm. Is it usually this cold out? <laughs> it's not usually this warm. Really? Yeah. So I uh, got you wondering why they sent you up to a northern Paleo-Indian outpost. Something like that, yeah. I'm curious what they told you. Unusual Clovis findings. That's all? They were pretty vague with the details. Yeah, we're pretty stingy with the details ourselves. That's pretty standard, right? Yeah, I'd say a standard Clovis culture, yeah. Last three years we've been stationed here, that's all we dug up. 11,000 BCE Clovis. It's uh, pretty interesting stuff. Nothing too exciting, though. Mm. Right. Two weeks ago, we found this pot. 11,000 BCE Clovis pottery. It's interesting, but not impossible. Yeah, that's not what's interesting, though. We found it on a sediment dated to 14,000 BP. 14,000 BP Clovis pottery. Nope, not Clovis. Pre-Clovis pottery? Mesoamerican. I mean, it, it looks Mesoamerican. It got similar symbols and markings. We we're over 4,000 miles from the nearest Mesoamerican site. There's a hundred different reasons for this being here. Early trade activity in this area, ceremonial burial of a more recent culture, something like that. Right, but 14,000 BP. You know that radiocarbon dating is not always accurate. Right. We've uh, also started unearthing a structure. Structure? A week ago, we began unearthing a large object that we think is the roof of a structure that goes down, well, really far. How far? Maybe a meter, maybe 10 meters. We don't know. We don't want to jump to any conclusions here. I mean, it could be nothing. It could, could be planted. We don't know. Right. This is the real deal, and we're looking at one of the biggest finds in the past century. We are right in the middle of the ice-free corridor, and this could confirm that theory. Over the past three years, we've covered over two square kilometers of ground. We're going as deep as 12,000 BP of sediment. Have a good night. Any of them speak English? All of them. They speak dog rib with one another, but they're all fluent in English. Any of them have experience with archaeology? <laughs> Not one of them. Now, they're all from a reserve about 100 miles south of here. We just pay the uh, band council and they give us workers. Usually finish this early? We don't get much sunlight up here. When the sun isn't up, it hits 50 below. The sun goes down real fast. Yeah, I get stuck out here for long and your blood will freeze. I wouldn't want to be the poor son of a bitch and have to experience that. Okay, gentlemen, thank you again. How many hours of sunlight do you get? What, this time of year? I don't know, like five, five and a half. You know, we try and use as much as we can, but come December and January, we barely get any at all. So what do you do with the other 19 hours? Drink mostly. Wells Memorial sleep there. That's my office. And uh, there's a communications cabin. That's where Jensen is. And McNaught and Giles, they have their own cabins are over there. And uh, this is us. Home sweet home. That's me. Ramus, the uh, site chef. He sleeps in there. It's pretty small. Cozy? It's a shithole. You're upstairs. Come on. I'll show you. And finally, your room. Bed's kind of shitty, but it'll do the trick. That heater takes about an hour to start to work, so sometimes you gotta smack it around a little. Uh, you're gonna need blankets, pillows. There's a stack of that stuff in the laundry room. It's the next room over. By the way, it gets kinda loud. Wonderful. Yeah, it sounds shitty, but 
There's a little vent there that siphons hot air from the machines into this room, so it's actually not that shitty. Believe me, in a couple of days, you're going to be thankful we gave you this room. Enjoy. Puss. Gibson, get off the table. Gibson. Okay. Uh, Beat it. All right, boys. We're out of eggs. All right. Anything else? Now nah, we'll be out of milk soon. Okay, I'll radio it in tomorrow. How many more sites like this are there? There's a site like this one every uh, 100 miles or so. Two dozen spread across the whole area. Any other ones have anything like this? Not that we've heard of. We're out of radio range. I was reviewing some of the photos last night. If you look here, these kind of look like symbols of a tracana. It's a Mesoamerican period of time. It's similar, but it's faded, so it's hard to tell. Maybe a simplified version. Now, if you look over here, that's it's nothing. That's just an image. Maybe a hunting ritual, something like that. How far down do you think it goes? No clue. Based on the depth of the bedrock in the area, I'd say three feet. Maybe as many as 10 feet. <clears throat> Outpost NTC 291 calling station nine, over. Outpost NTC 291 calling station 9, over. This is station 9. What can we do for you, 291? Over. Hey, how you doing, station 9? Uh, when's the next supply drop at this location? Over. Hold on a minute. Let me check that for you, 291. Sunday, November 10th. In three days, 291. Okay, great. Um, can you add, uh, let's see, hang on one second here. Milk, cigarettes, and eggs to the list, please, over. Sure can do, 291. Eggs, milk, and cigarettes, over. Great, thanks a lot, over and out. Hunker down with a yeah. bottle of whiskey and a Box of porn. Yeah. Well, it's much deserved anyway. Uh, right? To whiskey and porn. To whiskey and porn. To whiskey and porn. There's about. Uh, you know what? While we're on the subject, how about a toast mm -hmm. to the crew? Yep. Who'll be remembered mm -hmm. for the greatest archaeological find? Yeah. Possibly ever. Yeah. Right. I like the sound of that. There Cheers, it is. gentlemen. Cheers. Mm. And you'll be remembered as the guy who sat on his ass the whole time it was happening. Mm. Um, I'm okay with that. <sighs> so what do you think, Doc? What do I think about what? About that temple out there. What do I think? Who gives a damn what I think? I'm a doctor, not an archaeologist. <laughs> 
doesn't get old, though. No. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Olsen. Yeah. What do you think about the temple? It's probably not a temple. Whatever, you know, how, uh, how far do you think it goes down? Just based on experience, if I was looking at a similar structure in the Amazon, based on shape, size, some of the defining characteristics, I'd put it about 20,000 BCE, which is, well, not possible. Well, you know what I think? Yeah. What do you think? Aliens. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> hey, hey, you laugh now, All but right. wait till we start pulling up little green bodies. <laughs> You're a goddamn idiot. <laughs> Where's the file on Alpha 226? Alpha 200 to Alpha 250 is listed on a 59. And this one's labeled 100. Red files are 100, blue files are 200. Fuck. This is giving me a headache. Why don't you just call her today? Yeah, maybe I will. <clears throat> What's up, Giles? Can you come down to the site? I think you better see this. Yeah, I'll uh, be right down. Over. What the hell? What is that? It's Ramus's cat. Jesus Christ, who did this? I don't know. One of the workers? Why would they do it? It's fucked up. McNaughton. Yes. Why would McNaughton kill a cat? I don't know. You saw this happen? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll look into it, you can go back to work. This makes no sense. Hey, McNaughton, come in. <clears throat> yeah. Did you kill Ramus's cat? Well, then who did? I don't know. Navron just came into my office. He said he saw you doing it. He saw me do it. That's what he says. Um, nope, I didn't do it. You'll figure it out. I don't believe anybody. Coffee. Okay. What's going on? Three of our guys are gone. The other two went looking for them. Three of the workers? Yeah. Giles still here? Yeah. What do you mean gone? I mean, they're gone. What the fuck do you think why, of it? I have man. no idea why. Fuck. Guys, the workers are all gone. Uh, fuck. Yeah. 
All but two. What about Giles? Not Giles. You didn't hear him leave? No, I didn't. There's some tracks from the cabin going to the reserve. They're going back to the res? I don't know, I guess so. What, walking? Apparently. <sighs> this is fucking great. Three weeks before wrap, you think they'll send more guys? I doubt it. Why would they leave in the middle of the night when it's 50 below? They got spooked. Spooked? I don't know, I believe in all sorts of wacky shit. Maybe something spooked them. Yeah, like what? Cat? Yeah, maybe the cat. You know, it's possible. They are pretty superstitious people. So, they see the dead cat freak out and leave. And then wait till the middle of the night. I know, maybe it was the cat in combination with something else. You know, an animal sighting or something. What do you mean, an animal sighting? Apparently, animals have a lot of significance in dog rib mythology. They can come in the form of demons, gods, or whatever. So these guys see a moose in the camp and run for the hills. Well, regardless, we can't work without more guys. I'm gonna call it in. I wouldn't say no to an early winter break. Oh, five months alone here is more than enough. I happen to can't say yeah. oh, Christ! <coughs> what the hell is wrong with him? <sighs> He's got no fever. What did you eat? I don't know, the same shit you guys ate. All right, let's get to my office. Take a look at you. Jesus Christ. Come in, station nine, over. Station nine, come in, over. Station nine, come in, over. Station nine, are you there? Come in, please, over. So what's the word, be going home or? No, I couldn't get a hold of anyone. Oh, what the hell's all this? Wells threw up. Is he okay? I think so. So what do we do? We go back to work until we can get a hold of someone. All right, keep those walkies tuned to the workers' channel. That's channel three. And keep it nearby the two way. If anyone calls, we'll be back before dark, all right? Yeah, yeah. Go to station nine, tell them to send an evac. Yeah, yeah. Look, I know it sounds trivial, but it's important. I don't care if you have to take those radios with you when you take a shit. Just stay by them, all right? Okay? Yeah. Still feel like shit, eh? Yeah. And you've been feeling progressively worse throughout the week? Yeah. Any conditions, anything? Not that I know about. All right. 
I'm not even sleeping. I'm not. Open your mouth. Okay. My best bet is you get a real bad flu. How did I get it? Well, sometimes uh, someone has a virus, but they have the antibodies, so they don't even realize they're contagious. Right. And then they give it to someone else, and they don't have the antibodies, and then they get sick. I'm gonna give you some new painkillers and some triazolam. It'll help you sleep. All right? Think they went home? just doesn't make any sense. I mean, they don't have any of their stuff. They got no supplies. They're not gonna make it very far, not in this weather. <sighs> Fuck, it's cold. Yeah. What's wrong? Has anyone else been up here? Why? What we lost? We're not. But these trucks aren't going to the reservation. They're going in the complete opposite direction. No one's been out here as far as I can tell. These trucks are headed north. Reservation south. Well, if they're headed north, they're definitely dead. Not in bad condition, considering it's 11,000 years old. Yeah, well, nothing comes up here. On top of that, it's all untouched, bare beneath snow and ice. The reserve where the workers are from, they don't come up here ever? No, the town they all took up is the northernmost town for hundreds of miles. Really? Yep. We're the northernmost outpost. 291 out of 291. Stop that. Most northern outpost by about 90 miles. So what comes up here then? Nothing. So why are we here? Same reason 290 is there. And 250, 226, 215. Some surveyor found some scribble on a rock and figured it was important enough to waste years of people's time and government money. Yeah, well, nothing comes up this far north through these mountains except for the odd charter plane. Even though it stopped coming up here after that one went down about 50 miles from here. Engine failure from the cold. So what motivated them to build a camp here? Rock pile formations, usual stuff. Uh, you can see the initial reports here. Jensen got them in his office and I... Stop that! Same old stupid shit. Pass me that can. This one? Guess it's empty. Good. Uh, three more cans back in storage. How long can we go for? I say we got supplies for two weeks at the most. Supply drop was supposed to be three days ago? Yeah. Okay. Four 
on for now. Just put it down there. Is it on? Yeah, okay, I told you, the thing works fine. Just wanna see. Test, test. I turn the dial. Dial. Test, test. Try 98. Test, test. See, it works. Most of theirs turned off. Or they aren't there. Maybe there's a storm on the other side, who knows? Well, just regular loop to 98. Yeah, there are, um, there are stone pipes like this one every couple of miles or so. They're all about a mile from my initial dig spot, where we found most of the clover spots. You think this means the dog rib knew about the temple? Nope, that's likely just a coincidence. Stone pipes like these are really common among native cultures. They're used to mark important spots like um, ceremonial burial grounds or recurring settlements. Our theory is that these were used uh, to mark uh, a hunting spot for a uh, deer or maybe a bear. A lot of bear in this area? Yeah, but you don't have to worry about that. This place is covered in bear traps. And those will really fuck you up. Bear traps? Yeah, but down in the 30s by the dog group. Um, <clears throat> these stones were put down maybe five, six hundred years ago. See, the natives, they kept a close eye on this spot for a few thousand years, along with some other spots um, that we haven't started to excavate yet. No markings, nothing? Just boring old stones. Your specialty's Clovis. Yeah, since grad school. Graduation year? Oh, two. You ever seen anything like this? Never even heard about anything like this. Yeah. You don't think we're uh, we're trying to pull some sort of elaborate hoax, do you? Nah. The radiocarbon dating you had done on the structure places it near the end of the ice age. Yep. That's a solid structure. Right. People didn't stay in one place during the ice age. Carbon dating of the artifacts suggests that. These people were here for a span of a few hundred years. That's what doesn't make sense. Maybe they found ways to adapt to the cold. Then why'd they leave? Where'd they go? South, to form early Mesoamerica. If they were going south, they would have gone south. Christ's sake, would you cut it out? I'm bored. Go to work. You're still on the clock. What clock? There's nothing to do. Why don't you try fixing that radio? You are the equipment technician, aren't you? That fucking radio is fine, all right? Everything on it works. Except the part that lets us talk to other people. 
It's the ranger station's radio that's fucked, all right? Nothing I do here can fix that. Well, if you aren't going to go to work, knock it off with that goddamn ball! No, that's fine. Look at this. You see here? It looks like a simplified version of something you'd see on a Mayan or Aztec wall. It really simplified. Right. What's strange is that all of these symbols mean nothing in any Mesoamerican system of writing. And aesthetically, they look Mesoamerican, but there's nothing here to suggest that that's what this is. They think that a similar aesthetic is likely just coincidence. So, uh, what does that stem from? Well, it doesn't look like anything from South America, so it's out of my expertise. I do believe, however, that what we're looking at is not a writing system, but a systematic series of drawings. A lot of them are animals, maybe hunting ritual, cave wall kind of stuff, but just with more of a coherent style. So. Maybe a culture that was here before the Ice Age. They built this structure to survive in the cold, but they didn't make it to the end of the Ice Age because of the cold. Naughton, you in there? Naughton. I'm coming in, okay? <sighs> hey. Why didn't you answer the door? Sorry. I was just reading. We saved you some lunch. You missed breakfast, too. Are you okay? I'm fine. You need me to get you anything? Some, some drink? I'm or... fine. Okay. Your lunch is in the kitchen. Doc heard screaming. He went to go check on Wells. And? Uh, is he all right? I don't know. It's fucked up. He's fine, man! <laughs> Just look! What the? It's OK, Wells. It's OK. It's... Uh, Help me hold you down. What the fuck are you waiting for? Uh, Jesus! It's right here! It's right here! Uh, what the hell? What, what are you doing now? Oh, 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 oh,
Vamos. Vamos. Anyone ever been sick like this before? Yeah, all the time. I'm serious. Put this in your report? Putting everything in the report. Well, this has nothing to do with the site. The report's not just about the site, it's about the entire camp. Look, Professor, we brought you up here to check on that structure and get us more money. You want more money, you have to address the issues. Issues? What issues? The guy's sick, it has nothing to do with the operation. You weren't properly equipped to deal with the situation. That's bullshit. Cauterize his arm with a fucking shovel. Yeah, well, we weren't exactly anticipating a goddamn amputation. You're ill-equipped. You know what? Fine. Do your report. Maybe we can use the grant money to buy a fucking CAT scan machine. Jesus fucking Christ! What Jesus Christ? 
Probably safe to assume you've never heard of anything like this. Is he gonna make it? I don't wanna sound pessimistic, but I doubt it. Not as long as he stays here. And McNaughton? I got him on an antipsychotic. Well, did it work? We'll see. I'll keep a close eye on him until we can get him out of here, but he's probably gonna lose the rest of that arm. He made a real gnarly mess out of it. Any symptoms? Feeling sick? Dizziness? Headaches? No, no, I feel fine. I'm just tired. Have you been sleeping? Yeah, some. I, I uh, wake up and then I can't get back to sleep. How long has that been going on for? A few weeks. It's probably stress. You uh, have any heart palpitations? Shortness of breath? No. Just waking up for no reason. Yeah, pretty much. I have been having this uh, dream, though. Well, sometimes when you dream, the body releases adrenaline, wakes you up. Is it a nightmare? No, it's not a nightmare. I mean, it's not like I'm afraid or anything like that. What's the dream? Uh, 
I see this person, these people, I guess. Um, they're like us, but they're not. It's very strange. Um, I just feel like they're watching me. I don't know. All right, well, I'll get you some sleeping pills. They'll help reduce REM sleep. You got any uh, allergies, heart condition? No. Okay. All the artifacts were found within 30 feet of the structure. They all have animals on them being portrayed as godlike creatures. That much is fairly evident. Right. Based on the sheer amount of effort that went into making all these artifacts and the structure and the consistent use of animal imagery on all of it, well, there's no question that this site was extremely important to them. Probably a place of worship. Right, like a shrine. Right. Now, one recurring theme in a lot of these pieces is the deer. This deer god is very important to them. Maybe a creator god, like a Kakalkan in Mayan or Iacala in Aztec religion. You all right? Yeah, <clears throat> just thinking. Yeah. Uh, that's where they went to. Look here. Now, a lot of early tribes and civilizations were wiped out by disease. Obviously, they had no medicine back then, and they had no understanding of the concept of germs and bacteria. Now, this piece, this is our youngest piece by about 100 years so far. Now, if you look here, these resemble people, but what's strange is that they're disfigured. And all the other pieces, their portrayal of people, it's fairly accurate. They're standing up, arms, legs, heads, but that's not the case in this piece. People are missing appendages, they're slouched over. I believe this depicts illness, a uh, plague. As the ice melted, the bacteria could have been unfrozen. I mean, the timeline of our pieces ends near the end of the ice age. It's just a theory. So it wasn't the cold that killed them, it was the cold protecting them in a way. Exactly. So everyone dies. Then no one comes through for thousands of years, letting the thing get buried beneath sediment and ice. Interesting. That's interesting, but it's not what I'm worried about. What are you worried about? I'm worried about Wells. Wells? You think what he has is uh, what this artifact is showing? It's happened before. Curse of the Pharaohs. So we're looking at a bacteria that's 10 to 11,000 years old. Yeah, frozen deep in the ice, along with that structure and these artifacts. Someone was sneaking around the outpost last night. Who? You tell me. I don't know, maybe it was an animal. For Christ's sake, that was no animal. It was speaking words, I heard it outside my room. Look, I'm hearing things, we're all hearing things, okay? But there's no one out there, we're in the middle of nowhere, this is just stress. It's not stress! There was someone outside my fucking window speaking fucking words to someone else! What are you suggesting, huh? It's one of the crew? I'm suggesting someone in our crew is sneaking around, snatching up all our supplies, and is going to leave us with nothing, and then we're fucked! That's insane. Is it? Yes. Is it insane? Yes! Is McNaughton slicing up his arm insane? Is all our workers waking up one day and deciding to walk 100 miles in the Arctic winter insane? Just look into it!
I just found him here like this. He must have untied himself and taken my rifle. Oh, that's just wonderful. Do you have a family? Ex-wife and a kid. Yeah, divorce though. Still. Do an autopsy. Yeah, see if you can find out what was wrong with him. Any word on the rescue? Not yet. Wash your hands. I think I'll take a shower. Are you gonna watch me cut them open? Oh, thanks. I ran some tests on the tumors that were forming under his skin. The cells aren't human. What are they? They bear similarity to the cells of a cephalopod. Octopus. There were traces of human cells, but they were weird in the sense that they were in the process of changing. Into what? Into the octopus-like cells, or squid, or whatever. You're trying to tell us that Wells was turning into an octopus? Well, sort of. The cell formations that were building on his muscle tissue, they would detach once they reached a certain size. I ran some blood tests earlier, and the invader cells were present in his bloodstream, and more than likely in his spine, too. Wells is turning into an octopus. More like thousands of tiny little ones. What the fuck does that mean? It means that he's really goddamn sick, OK? I can't dumb it down for you more than that. Yeah. It's not possible. Oh, really? Tell me more, Professor. Guys! Guys, what are we going to do? Well, I've got him on every antibiotic I have. Hopefully, it can stop the invader cells. Otherwise, you have to get a fucking aquarium. What about McNaughton? Found the same bacteria in McNaughton's bloodstream and his spine, which leads me to believe that this bacteria, it spreads like tertiary syphilis. Okay, it starts in the spine, it moves to the bones, the muscle tissue, the skin, and then eventually, as in this case, the brain. So the bacteria drove him insane. Well, it's a bit of a stretch to make that kind of diagnosis based on the fact that I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, he could have had a mental breakdown due to isolation sickness or uh, a schizophrenic episode brought on by stress or, or the bacteria. I mean, he was exhibiting signs of schizophrenia, sudden temper, depression. But I'd have to see his family's medical history, and I can't access that from here. All right, so what do we do? We need to get Wells to a hospital, or he will die. I can keep him pumped up with uh, antibiotics, but hopefully he can fight off the side effects. Is it contagious? Probably. First thing tomorrow. I want that structure reburied. I want the artifacts quarantined. I want the whole site sterilized. What? You can't reopen this site until you've quarantined, tested, and surveyed all the wildlife in the area. That'll take years. You're already responsible for the death of one, maybe two crew members. You started excavating before the site was deemed safe, and now you're dealing with the consequences. But to rebury the We're site. We're dealing with dangerous bacteria that we know nothing about. What I saw coming out of Wells' arm, I won't have you or anyone else subjected to. I'm not going to throw away Look, three years right, of work. Okay? This is foreign to anything I've ever seen before. We don't know what it can do. We shouldn't fuck with it. This fucking bullshit. Correct.
Lucius. Did you see it? I saw you. What else did you see? Nothing. There was nothing there. They're talking about you. Who? The others. They think you're going mad. Am I? They think you've got it. Do I? That's right. Good. Late. Oh. First thing tomorrow, we're going to quarantine these artifacts, start a report so we can get the ball rolling on reopening the site. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I've seen some shit before, but nothing like that. Single sour, I'm the one that's explaining to his parents. If a rescue doesn't come in the next few days, I think a few of us should go hike up to the reserve. Do it. Sure. Weather's gonna break next few days. I think it might be smart to take advantage of that while we can. Okay. You need anything? No. You sure?
put him out of his pain. He's in pain. His face, I've never seen anything like it. It was horrible. Step back. All the way to the wall. Step back. Just stay the fuck back. What did you do? What, what the fuck did you do? It was in pain. He couldn't die. He wanted me to kill him. I didn't want to, but he wanted me to. He made me do it. He made me do it. So, so I, I cut his wrist, but he didn't die. So I, I, I cut his throat, but he kept screaming. So I thought if I take off his head, and I kept hitting him, and he didn't die. Now. He didn't die, and I didn't know what to do. So I kept crying. I tried to stop his heart, but it didn't stop. It didn't stop, and it was horrible. I didn't know what. It was so horrible. It was. He made me do it. I swear to God. I swear to God. He made me. He. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? I. I didn't. He. I want to go home. I would like to go home. Try anything or I'll fucking shoot you. Please, I had no choice. I'm gonna be out in the room right here, so don't try anything. Well, let's go and arrest you, guys. No, listen to me. I had no choice. Stop. He made me do it. Stop. Stop. Listen. Your blood pressure's good, liver checks out, kidneys are fine, thyroid, it's all fine. Hey, Doc, come in. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, look, I'm down at the supply shed. I just need a hand. I gotta get a bunch of these boxes inside. Can you, uh, can you come down? Copy. I'll be right back. <laughs> Who's there? Hello? Telling me this. Five million people a year. The propagated species. Shut up! Such tiny 
insignificant creatures. It was speaking to me. I, I swear, it, it, was, it was speaking. It was saying something about maggots. And it, it wouldn't stop. And I, I had to stop. And I, 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 I stopped it. When was the last time you slept? Not sure. You're hallucinating. No. Maybe I. I don't know. It's, it seemed real. I'm going to give you some sleeping pills so you can get some rest. Lack of sleep, it triggers hallucinations. It seems so real. I'm going to give you some Xanax, too. I want you to take these and get some sleep. I'll take care of this. Probably some soup. We're gonna hike up uh, to the reserve tomorrow. What the hell happened to you? Do you not see him? There's not much of that left, so you just make it last. Please tell me you see him. You see him, right? I don't. I don't see anything. What should I see? He's here, now, listening, watching. He's watching me, Jensen. I can't move without him watching me. I can't move. Just calm down, OK? It's all right. I can't do it anymore. He wants me to. He made me do it. <sighs> OK. Just tell me what you see. He's behind you. What's he doing? Watching you. Touching you. Watching me. He's angry with me. He's going to do something. I don't... Who is he? A deer. He's a deer. It's... I... No, I don't know. D don't leave me. This is all in your head. I don't want it anymore. I'm gonna see if Doc has something for you, okay? No! Jensen, please. Stay. Please. No! Jensen!
Where are you going? I think we should hike up to the res. The weather's gonna be nice in the next few days. Yeah, looks like you already thought about that. I was gonna tell you guys. Really? Because it looks like you were about to leave us here. I was not gonna leave you guys. What, were you just gonna take the rest of our food with you too? I'm not ditching you guys. Just making sure you got the map and the flashlights. Well, you got the batteries there, too? Hey, there's other maps and there's other flashlights. I'm not fucking ditching you guys. I know you're tight, Jensen. Fucking sociopaths. Acting all respectable and altruistic until your opportunity pops up to get ahead, and bam, there you are, pushing the rest of us out of the way. Well, guess what? What? If I see you touching any of our shit, I'm going to shoot you. And then I'm gonna kill you, and I won't hesitate, and I won't have no sympathy because people like you got it coming. People like you have it long coming. Don't think I don't have my eyes on you. Scared me. When was the last time you slept? I uh, know. Yesterday. Day before. Okay, I'm taking over. Why? So you can sleep. No. I'm fine. Worry about yourself. Wait, you don't trust me? <laughs> Why should I? What did I do? What did McNaughton do? What'd he do? You know what's gonna be a long winter if you're gonna spend it up here by yourself not trusting anyone? Well, if that's what I have to do, then that's what I have to do. Brought you this. I don't want it. When was the last time you ate? I don't know. Eat it. No. I can make my own food, thank you. It's not poison. Leave me alone. Fucking hell, man. It's freezing cold. You're not gonna eat, you're not gonna sleep, you're gonna die in here. Then let me die! Worry about your fucking selves, I'm fine.
almost dead. Doc's dead! Jesus Christ. This is bad. It's not that bad. No, you're losing a lot of blood. This is probably some internal bleeding. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. Oh. We need a doctor. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. You gotta get to the reserve. You can't go anywhere like this. <sighs> You gotta go. I'll stay here. You'll die. I'll be fine. There's a, a trail behind the site. Goes all the way to the reserve. It's about it's 90 miles. Uh, if you uh, hurry, you can get there in a day and a half. So it's just okay. The sun's coming up in an hour and a half. Get down the mountain. In, I don't know. Five and uh, it's gonna be a lot warmer then, so there's a map. My room, no, I should have said help. Okay,
You're not real. What do you want from me? When an animal looks up at the night sky, what does it see? Thousands and thousands of tiny points. Then a man looks up at the same points and sees millions of stars, galaxies, within which are billions of planets. Do you want to know what I see? Were you there when I created the stars? No! Space? Time? No! But still, you think you deserve understanding? I've done nothing to you. I'm leaving your home. You don't really think I'm bound to that structure, do you? Artificial carvings on a stone? Certainly you don't believe that I can be omnipotent, omniscient, but not omnipresent. You're not God! God isn't cruel. He doesn't kill men like this. No. No! Do you believe that? If you are God, tell me why. Tell me! I have to go. Why don't you stop me? Because you're in my fucking mind, that's why! Why don't you think I'm real? Because you're a fucking parasite! I'm not here to teach you or to make you believe in me. Shit, what do you want? Where you came from? What are you fucking doing here? Ah, you can go fuck yourself, asshole! Tell me, God damn it! <laughs> 